find a concept that sticks with you. So you're listening to this pop song or you're listening to this rock song or this metal song or whatever it might be. You hear a lick, okay? A melody like we were just talking about. A riff like we were just talking about with Crazy Train. A chord progression, right? You hear some sort of chord progression that you really like. <laughs> And you take that idea. Now, you don't have to play it with the same rhythm, right? You might go. And you change the last chord, you change up the groove, you're changing up everything about it. So it's becoming something else. And there's a million stories you can read about Led Zeppelin and Kiss and The Who and all these other bands where they've written songs out of inspiration of listening to some other artist or some other song. A, t a bunch of songs that you love are written very much that way, okay? Uh, a tempo. You might hear a tempo that you really like. So in your mind, you're thinking double bass. Daga, 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 daga. Well, there's your tempo. So now you're going to go searching around for something that fits. Okay, well, that's too much like... Um, you know, a race car. I don't want that. I want something that's a little more... Okay, so now I'm working off tempo. I'm inspired by the tempo. Okay, or it might be a groove thing. You hear a... You know, whatever it might be. Again, I'm just making crap up here, but... Um, or a tuning, drop tuning. Drop tuning for me is a blast because I, I play differently than when I'm in standard tuning. And I write in both tunings. I write standard and I write drop. But when I'm drop, I always tend to do all these. All these kind of Black Sabbath-y, Zach Wilde. Where I don't really write like that when I'm in standard tuning. Okay, when I'm in standard tuning, everything tends to be a bit more of what you're going to see in the, uh, the Stargazer song in that guitar course. But aside from p tuning standard, which I want to talk about real quick, and then we'll move on to number two here. Are you guys learning something? Give me a yes or a no, please a yes. If you're learning something, if there's something here that's going to be able to help you with your playing, okay? It's not always, and I know people go, why don't you play more? It's not just about me playing and then teaching you something I did. I want you to learn to think for yourself about how you can write. And I'll give you, there's a million videos you can watch of me all over the place of things that I can give you to play. But I want you to learn to think about this so you can do it the way you want to do it. Let me show you something quick. Let me see if you guys can see that. Okay, this thing here is made by Electro Harmonics and it's called a pitchfork. Now, I'm not going to plug it in right now because I'd have to re-put a bunch of crap on there. But there's a bunch of pedals out there like this. The two that I found that I really like are this one, and then there's one by Digitech called the Drop Pedal. And basically what's cool about these is if you had one guitar like this, okay, and it didn't have a locking system, so you could just go back and forth between standard tuning... <laughs> and drop tuning. And when I drop tune, all I'm doing is, is matching the sixth string to my fourth string, which are both Ds. They're just octaves. Okay, those are the two different kinds of tunings I can do and still stay tuned standard. I'm just dropping the sixth string. Now with this pedal, what I can do is I can plug my guitar into it and then come out of there and plug into an, an amp or whatever it is I'm using. And I can detune my guitar with this pedal. If you've ever heard of that before. So instead of bringing, you know, five different guitars with me on the road that are all tuned differently, I can bring one pedal and then just tune this to whatever I need. And then my guitar will still be my guitar. My guitar doesn't change tuning. It's just affected by this. Okay, so it's a really easy way of being able to tune 
to cool different tunings. Like if you want to tune down, now this one does all kinds of stuff. I'm not going to get into the pedal. Um, actually, I think I did a review on this on YouTube somewhere, but um, it does all kinds of different things. But the point is, let's say you wanted to tune down to, you know, between the buried and me or something like that, where you want to tune down or you want to do some seven string stuff like corn or something. But you don't have a seven string and you can, you don't have enough guitars to be tuning down and up because the further down you go, the you got to wind up changing the the uh, the gauge of your guitar string. You know, you can't tune down to, to B and have these strings on there. They'd be they'd be like spaghetti noodles. So the nice thing about this is the pedal does it for you. You don't change anything. Now, is it perfect? No, I mean, obviously, it, it'd be wonderful if all of us could have 10 different guitars that were all tuned differently and live in that world, but we don't always have that option. So the pedal is a great option of being able to get you those heavier sounds if you like to tune down, but you don't have all the guitars to do it with. Or like I said, if, if you're on the road and you don't want to bring all these guitars with you all the time because it's a pain, um, you just bring a pedal and you just detune de with the pedal. Now the trick with the pedal is you got to make sure that you're loud enough to where your your amp has to be louder than your guitar. Because when you play your guitar, that doesn't change, right? The, the, the sound that you're hearing from my guitar doesn't change. It's the sound that's coming out of the amplifier that's affected. So if your amp is, is really quiet and you can still hear these strings, it's going to sound really weird. You got to turn your amp up loud enough or put headphones on or something and it'll sound right. Okay, so that's a really great way of approaching different tunings. If you like the really heavy low tuning stuff, grab a pedal for, you know, 150 bucks and I know it's can be a lot of money, but it's way cheaper than buying three different guitars. Hey, thank you so much for watching this video. Listen, if you're ready to take your guitar playing to the next level, then I'd like to invite you to go to guitarzoom.com and sign up for a VIP membership, which gives you first access to my premium lessons each month, which are customized for your specific goals and skill level. Now, it's an awesome community of guitar players that love to play, have fun, and support each other's goals, and we'd love to have you join us. So go to guitarzoom.com and sign up for VIP today.